Tonight's host, he needs no introduction. In this corner, starting from the other corner. Are we live? I was going to make a joke about No Shave November and how we don't ever have to. We're not live, to. right? Yeah, we are. No, <laughs> I thought we were testing. Cut this. Oh, no, we can't cut this. Okay. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> boys and girls, gather around. Tonight's hosts need no introduction, although I will introduce them. Please. They've been doing No Shave November since they turned 12. For I'm Ben. Of this, that wasn't very long ago. And I'm Daniel. <laughs> and this is the time for another bad podcast. Um. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. All right. <laughs> we got a lot. To, we got a lot to talk about today. Hey, man. did we even test the mics? Oh yeah, they've been tested while really? you were gallivanting around in the kitchen. That's what I'm talking about. We only have the highest level of production here at Bad Podcasts Inc. We have a few things to go over. Okay. One. We have a new addition. That's my pine seed that I have started growing. Hope, ho- hopefully it can live inside for the rest of the winter. Mm-hmm. Because it didn't actually go through the real winter, winter and have a whole year of growth. Mm. I tricked it, and so now it's only had like a few months of growth. What, you put it in the freezer or something? Yeah, the refrigerator really? for 60 days. And so I'm not really sure how it will fare outside in the freezing. Mm-hmm. By the way, that chocolate mint mm-hmm. was completely frozen in ice. And it's back to being green already. Really? Oh, God. That bitch is strong. That bark was strong. Yeah. And, um... Oh, today's beer of the week. This week's beer of the week. Blue Moon. I don't have a drink of the week because, uh... Au contraire, my friend. I have a note here that says you do. Oh, really? To Ben, Sable, Brendan, Daniel, Ruth, and Dalton. Sorry we couldn't hang out. Hope you all the best. Cheers, Jason. <laughs> We have gotten more fan mail in the past week than we ever have in the past lives. Fourteen weeks. <laughs> <laughs> this is what this is. This is our parting gift. Shout out to Jason for that. I don't even know if we have to shout it because I mean this <laughs> is pretty, pretty bold. Yeah, you're right. This is this is our new drink of the week, my friend, for the Hell next yeah. foreseeable future. You want yeah. some? Because I'm gonna drink it straight out of the bottle. Uh no, I I I I'd have to pass. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, look at that green. Green's my favorite color, by the way. I think it usually comes in purple, and I think you got green because of that. I like green uh, when it has that gold with it, though. Pray tell, what is the events of the day for you? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I thought you wanted to talk about it on the... Or was it a crazy week? I don't know which... Uh, yeah, today was crazy, but it's also been a crazy week. Um, but we'll get into that later. <laughs> How later? After this later? Yeah, after this. <laughs> it's probably going to take me 40 minutes to open it. Well, you talk about something. I wasn't, I didn't know we were. Oh, okay. Um, I didn't, I fact checked two things for the 9-11. Okay. One thing is past 10,000 feet, cell phones do not work. And what were they As far at? as reception. Well, altitude, flying altitude is 30,000 feet. Mm-hmm. But there was a recording that the um, terrorists went pretty low. Mm-hmm. However, they didn't go low the full time. It was they basically took off, and in ten minutes, a plane can reach altitude. Mm-hmm. They were in the air for like uh, twenty minutes before they made a phone call. So they should have been at altitude, and they started reducing their altitude closer to New York mm-hmm. from Boston. Which is supposed to be an hour and like 20-something minute flight. Everything that I looked up said that. But it would be a little less since they weren't having to curve to land. Yeah. Because they landed in the building. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, and what the next the thing. thing? <laughs> okay, so that was with the planes, or the <coughs> cell phones. Okay. I cannot open this. Yeah. Do you give me the... Tell the story. I'll open it. <clears throat> okay. I can't tell you this. Tell him. 
You're supposed to hear this. I'm not talking to them. I'm talking to you. I can hear you in here. He yelled, I can hear you in here. Professionalism in the workplace is dead. Jesus Christ. (laughs) Okay. Talking about radar, how they lost track of the planes. Radar has something called a cone of silence. Okay. On top, where the radar shoots out, there's like a, a... a, a disc at an angle like this, right? Mm-hmm. If you follow the line of the angle of that radar, anything following that line behind it is called cone of silence. It can't detect anything above that. You know what I mean? So yeah. it shoots out like this, and if you were to follow it up, it couldn't see anything back here. So they shouldn't have been able to make the calls? No, no, no. This is just for radar, how they oh. lost them. Oh. So there is that cone of silence because it de- can't detect anything above it. Yeah. But radar coverage overlaps so you'd have like this cone or the cone of silence is right here but this radar would be covering that cone of silence and okay. this radar would be covering that cone of silence so don't know how they lost them on radar I'm gonna keep digging in okay. but I was pretty lax week for yeah fact checking yeah. but I did check on the cell phones and everything mm-hmm. did you get it open? oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's what the point of it was Mmm, you know what? That smells pretty good. Yeah? I know it's not going to taste good. <laughs> it smells like um, Jolly Rancher's apple. Um, if it had a lot more sugar, it would smell like Jolly... It smells like the diet version with no sugar. Cheers to you, Jason. <laughs> Cheers. To Jason. How was that? Ooh. 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 <coughs> well, it's pretty smooth. Crown Royal is a smooth drink. <clears throat> but, uh, <coughs> hit me in my tickle box. Where is that located? No, oh, you don't want to know, <laughs> boy. <coughs> right there in the gizzard. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, we went through everything I had planned for the week. I guess we're almost done. Really? <laughs> well, did you hear about Disney Plus? And do you have it? Uh, Sable wanted to buy it. I told her no, it's ridiculous. Yeah. And so we got a password from a friend. <laughs> yeah. Um, we have it. And it, I think you can do like four simultaneous screens. Don't talk to about anything about The Mandalorian. Okay, why? I want to watch it. Oh, yeah. I, was just I just didn't want to pay you. for it. Yeah. Oh, I was huge into Star Wars. Mm-hmm. Did I? Did no, I, tell I knew everyone? you were into Star I Wars. Into Star I didn't Wars. know if you were going to be into the expanded universe. I was universe. big into reading all the books. I got, I got you. I'm not doubting the you. old books, not like the. That's why I didn't know if you were going to be into a new like Disney Plus show, you know. But the show covers everything that I wanted. Right. Like, um, it pisses me off because I saw somebody's Facebook status and had to do with it, and it said, "Oh, it's not Bubba Fett." I'm like, you motherfucker. <laughs> but here's the thing. I thought it was established that it wasn't. I know a little bit. Well, it's supposed to look kind of like Jango Fett or oh, Boba yeah. Fett's armor. Yeah. But here's here's the thing that people don't know that's not used to Star Wars is Mandalorian is just, it's not talking about a person. It's a, it's a species. It's a, it's a species yeah. from Mandalore. Yeah. I watched the Clone Wars, bro. I didn't. I read books. You need to watch the Clone Wars. I'm a learned man. You have Disney Plus, you can watch it. I'm not going to watch Clone Wars. <sighs> You're lost. I feel like it's more a gain. <laughs> I guess so. But I'm wanting to go back and watch all of the old Disney movies. Yeah, I I don't know. Like That's Darkwing I, Duck. <clears throat> That's why I wanted to bring up Disney Plus, because I don't know if they have enough going for them, you know what I mean? Like, the things they do have are pretty sound, though. Like, they have the, they have all 30 seasons of The Simpsons. Uh, yeah, I didn't know it was a Disney thing. Yeah, that, that, they have things on there I didn't know were Disney things, but they're gonna start. Fox. Yeah, they, yeah, they own Fox, so they own Simpsons, they own so and so, so they own this, they own Marvel, so all the Avengers. They own ABC on News and MSNBC. Yeah, they have a lot of shit. They have a Jeff Gold, uh, Jeff Goldblum like starred in a documentary or something, or documentary. <laughs> uh, it's crazy, but 
they also kind of lack in like originals right now. The Mandalorian is the only original, I think, and they have like a Lady in the Tramp show, maybe a couple others. Oh, they have a high school musical like show, like with new casts. I don't know. It's weird. Here's the deal though. I think for what they have, it's kind of worth it. It's only six ninety nine, whereas like I'm paying like nineteen for Netflix with like, <laughs> but that's with like four screens and HD on all four screens. Oh, why? And and like four accounts or something. So, because I have a big family, but have but Disney, them pay for but Disney pitch Plus. In. But Disney Plus is six ninety nine mm-hmm. for the whole for four screens like standard. I hate and you can download like episodes. I downloaded. I I had to take my mom to the airport today, so I thought I was gonna like be waiting around. So I downloaded last night. I downloaded. Two episodes of The Simpsons and the new episode of The Mandalorian. I was like, you can, because I don't have any data on my phone right now. So I was just like, awesome. You know? <laughs> I mean, that's cool. Yeah. Um, I hate that there's so many streaming services. I do too. I know what you mean. But I think Disney Plus is more worth it right now than Netflix. <sighs> like, Netflix has originals, but the originals <laughs> aren't good. Some of them are, but you know what? You're right. I'm not even currently. Aside from the Paul Rudd show, I'm not even watching anything on Netflix right now. But Amazon has Jack Ryan going for them. And mm-hmm. I recommend that. It's excellent. Uh, it's got John Krasinski who plays Jim. Well, here's what you do. Okay. You cancel all but one subscription and just find friends that have the <laughs> other subscriptions. I guess so, but yeah, I don't know. Cancel your Netflix. <clears throat> I think I am the friend that loans out the Netflix, though. Because, like... Loans out the Netflix? Yeah. Well, why are we still paying for Netflix, bro? Because <laughs> <it's>, because <laughs> all of my four sisters, screens, all of my sisters are using it. My brother in St. Louis is using it. Don't Shout out Ryan. to Maya, she's using it, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm using it. So I pay for like six. I don't know. It's I, it's almost all bundled. It's like paying for a TV. You know, <laughs> it's weird. It's like I don't know. Well, anyways. I was very against the Disney Plus idea because I thought yeah, all these condoning. subscription services stupid as hell. Mm-hmm. But then when we logged in and I saw everything they had, exactly. I'm like, Man, they got you know you what? That Disney magic. Yeah. Just money. <laughs> I'm thinking, let's just do that instead of Netflix. So you cancel Netflix? No. Oh. I don't, I'm, I don't pay for any subscription. Sable would pay for it all. <laughs> so you're privileged. Um, I mean, in that aspect, I guess. <laughs> but in the other aspect, I'm paying for a home. <laughs> I was just pushing your You're buttons. You're just what, man? I was just pushing your buttons. They've dude. been pushed for a while. Dude, back to uh, Disney. <laughs> there was an old show called Darkwing Ducks. Mm-hmm. Darkwing Duck. And, oh, my God. I remember that as a kid. I think I remember it. I don't know. And it's on there? I'm going to watch it tonight mm-hmm. uh, after Sable's asleep because I can't really leave the bed before she's asleep because mm-hmm. then she'll yell at me and go, Ben, I'm cold. Mm-hmm. Understand. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do think Disney is a great bargain if you only like that one aspect of entertainment. Like, that's why I kind of have to have like Amazon and Netflix. And I've lived without Amazon. Although, <gasps> you got Amazon? Yeah. Can we not share this, bro? We can. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see one show. Okay. It's called Grimm. Okay. You ever heard of it? Uh, I think I have. I think I might have even seen a few episodes. They did some cool stuff. I watched it with my mom a while ago. Oh, hey, I'll give you the login. While you have it, though, I recommend you check out um, The Boys and also uh, the John Krasinski show, Jack Ryan. Uh, there might be uh, another good one. I don't know about that. What the hell, dude? You love it. I don't really like John Krasinski. You don't have to like him. I mean, he's not really the... I mean, he's the main star, but there's a lot of other cool characters. He's a goofy-looking dude. I think he looks pretty good. Like, he has funny ears and a funny nose. That's funny looking. Yeah. But he's pushing the boundaries of what are seen as attractive, you know? <laughs> Maybe one day me or you could be seen as attractive because of John Krasinski. Oh, look. You know what I mean? I was going to say something, but I can't. Because now attractive isn't just, like, the chisel, you know? It's like... It still is. Yeah, it Don't is. Don't want people to lie to it you. It is, but it's not limited to that. You know what I'm saying? Okay, um... A few more things I want to discuss. Okay. I'm not done with the subscription thing, but I know I'm going to forget these other things. That whiskey. What is this? Is it whiskey? No. Whiskey. Yeah, it is. It's a whiskey. It's working on me. Yeah, good. <clears throat> so I'm going to start forgetting a lot, and I'm going to be buttoning no, on a lot. On, I'm sorry. Man. Okay, anyways. Uh, shit. Focus. Oh, my God. Oh. I had it with Rhett and Link, dude. 
Oh really, dude? I have something to say. Like, have you? When 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 did you give up? I think we might be thinking of the same episode. <laughs> Tell me Is it about a gender reveal party. Oh no! What are you talking about? Um, jeez, I I just watched it last night. It was um. LTAP? No, it was um. They test something. Oh, it's a will it? It's an international taco taste test, I think. I'm pretty sure I watched it, and they had like an ice cream cone from Middle East. Yeah, maybe it wasn't that one. Tell me, tell me your story, and I'm gonna find which one I watched. It's a gender reveal thing <clears throat> where they figure out A, B, C, or D mm-hmm. what the end of the reveal is, like what happens. Mm-hmm. And uh, look, as a as a fair warning. I don't care how you think about anything, <laughs> okay? I just don't like inconsistencies, and I don't like pandering, okay. which I feel like they did in this episode. Number one, they're introducing that they're going to be doing a gender reveal. They're going to be going over gender reveal parties or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then Rhett goes, or Link, Rhett goes, let's face it, it should be called a sex reveal party. So we're already establishing that they're separating the gender and sex idea. Okay. Whatever. I don't care. But then they continue... To use the terms boy and girl, men and women, without mm-hmm. they're assuming people's genders, <clears throat> which I still believe is the sex. Mm-hmm. I think boy and girl refers to sex. That's not the point of this. I don't right. care how you think. But And then he was dogging on men for the whole entire episode. And then there was one comment. Link or Rhett? Rhett. Okay. It was Rhett the whole time. And then Rhett goes, wow, if he hates women that much, he, should, he could run for president. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? It's not It's not a bad joke. It's funny. Yeah. The problem is, is I don't like... Let's keep the politics out of it, right? I, no, they can bring it in. That's the whole reason I like the Dave Chappelle sticks and stones bit. Mm. He makes fun of literally everybody. But when you... It, it started to feel like Rhett was like, no, you're stupid. Mm-hmm. It started to feel like... He was... Right. Men yeah. suck and our president sucks. and It started to feel like that kind of stuff. And I was like, I really don't care. I mean, yeah. I watch... I told you about Tim Cast. I watch him. Mm-hmm. I'm starting to get tired though of all my subscriptions. But I was watch. I watch him, and he's like, "Yeah, I don't like Trump. I didn't vote for Trump, mm-hmm. so I don't care." But I hate the constant degradation. It's like, I want you to stop, dude. Yeah, I I kind of see what you're saying. It's funny to poke fun. Yeah, but it gets old it, at a and point. It take, you can take it too far. And I liked I liked their show before they kind of did that as well. I still kind of like it though. I, I like the Taco Bell. I still one. watch, but I now downvote everything. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, you dislike them? Damn. No, I don't dislike them. I dislike. No, you dislike the video. What they've become? Oh, yeah, because yeah. they started saying we're trying to do an experiment, and if you really like yeah. the shit, and I'm like, well, if I really oh, dislike it, can I dislike right. it? Because I really dislike your jokes you were making. Okay. Although I thought, you know, it's kind of witty. That's funny. Mm-hmm. It's topical. But fucking stop! I get the sense they're kind of testing like a I different it's... avenue, like they're testing the YouTube avenue because there's like all kind of new streaming services and like stuff like that that I think they might be pushing toward. Not ending on YouTube, but maybe like launching somewhere like on Mixer, or like a streaming service. They might be trying to like a corporate thing, mm-hmm. like trying to branch out. So they're te- that's why they're doing the like test thing because they say they want to test the algorithm. Oh, and see like. If they would have the reach over, it, yeah, mm, yeah, mm, you know, mm. to branch. So out. there's not an algorithm test. It's just right. or do we have a big is. enough following that we could go over to a new service? Yeah, or, so, or something like that. Something in that ballpark. Here, here, here's another thing. Another gripe. I told you about like their fake laughs and everything's scripted. Mm-hmm. Everything's been scripted for a while. Yeah, and that's when I started. But it's completely it, forced but... laughing now. Like I, maybe the past season, it just feels like they don't even enjoy I think what they're, they're kind doing. Of worn out, maybe. The, and I don't blame them. Yeah, you do something for I don't know. It's but like don't, their 10th season. Don't sell, don't try to repackage something and sell it for what it used to be, you know? Yeah. It, maybe just evolve, like make the humor a little different or something, but don't try to and then maybe act like everything's the same and not do a good enough job. Maybe they've been this way all along, but it wasn't noticeable. Mm-hmm. The episode I was going to tell you about was, I misspoke, it was the, can this pill take the sugar out of sugary foods? I clicked on that thinking it was a prank, like the spicy one or whatever, and I watched all 14 minutes of it thinking it was a prank until I was like, what? That was real? It just blew my mind because their acting was like really weird. Like They were acting very heavily in that episode. It was weird. So I thought it was a prank, but it wasn't. It was like a real pill. pill. 
strange. Yeah, they're just not what they used to be. And I think it's because they have so many people. Another thing I hate is when you click on one of their videos, you're going to go th- sit through three different commercial breaks. Oh, I have ad... I have, full disclosure, I have ad blocker on. Oh, I don't have ad blocker. Mm. Anyways, uh, a lot of the other subscriptions I watch... Yeah. One ad break at most. Yeah. Red and Link, three commercial breaks, two ads per break. Mm-hmm. What the hell? I would also just like to say I turn off ad blocker for creators I'd like to support. Because <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't advocating like... Um, I, I won't watch an ad on a video that I don't want to support is what I meant. And I don't like seeing them on Facebook and stuff. So that's why I have ad blocker. But if you have a YouTuber or a creator that you support and you're viewing their content, you should turn off your ad blocker if they get ad revenue. Again, I don't care <laughs> how they view things. I don't. Because yeah. I've been watching them for a while. And obviously for the past 10 years, because they're 10 seasons in at least. More. <laughs> More, I maybe fourteen like seasons. Uh, it <laughs> may be like at that, that high. I yeah, don't know. I think it is. So I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not just when the past month and a half or two months that they've started doing this. But don't care how they think. I don't care at all. But their whole thing that sold me on them, thinking they were funny, mm-hmm. is just different. And so once they started changing, like how their show was, then I started picking up everything else I didn't like. Yeah. Oh, but the inconsistency of, oh, it should be called a sex reveal party. Okay. Then they started referring to everybody as a boy or girl. Like, well, do you believe it's separate or not? Quit saying, <laughs> just start saying male or female. I mean, come on. I think I got cat vomit on my jeans. Oh, no. So Are cut. you serious? Yeah, we can cut here. I'm going to just wash it really quick. Okay. I don't know where. I found someone else who's been watching the stuff. Yeah? No, and it's still in the family, so it's not, like, awesome. Why do you do that? Did you just watch wipe... My hands. Just your hands? Just my hands. Because I wiped my head with that towel. (laughs) But why do you demean family members and friends who watch our show? I don't demean them. How does that demean them? You demean their support for us. As if it's not... Because they're biased. (laughs) Yeah, but they don't. Not really. They don't have to. Some of the people. Okay, here Alex we go. Tilly here we messaged go. me and said he watched our show. Well, I know him. Yeah, but it's not a stranger. He doesn't know me, and That's I didn't true. know him. That's and true. he said he liked our show, That's and he true. messaged me. You know what? You just proved me wrong. Exactly, I did. You so did. I appreciate all our viewers. And Can you Jason tone it down a minute. Painted our our wall, adorned us with Crown Royale. Adorned me because you're not drinking it. <laughs> not right now. I'm taking another drink, by the way. Okay, good. Think you need it? Damn, <laughs> fucking princess. <Just> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I love I love our viewers. Oh. Ooh. Hmm. You're oh. telling me. Blue Moon's a bad chaser. It's a bad beginner too. I'm, no, I. This is why. I, oh, that's why I want it in a wine cup. Like, dude. Blue Moon has a completely different flavor poured into a cup. Really? Yeah. I can already feel that whiskey. Does like it's warming my away? throat and it's going all down. Dude, that's good. Whew. What Going were you saying about Red Run? Link? What? Hmm? <laughs> what were you saying about Red and Link? Uh, the, I just, I just hate, I hate inconsistencies which tend to show me that they might just be pandering. Mm. Like... Either they are just trying to stay on the woke people's side or progressive side, but right. their natural belief system is not that way. That's why their speech doesn't kind of flow with what they're saying. Right. Or their writers have put in something that they don't naturally agree with. It just doesn't I think flow. it could be that. I mean, I bet it is because Stevie... And Stevie had to remind them to do the experiment, too, in the first episode where they started it. She said, don't you guys have something that you want to... So... I don't know. I mean, I definitely believe... Another thing, why do they have to move to California to do a YouTube show? I kind of actually see that. Why? Because everyone is there, like, crews are there, production companies are there, because they're not just a TV show. What do you need? You hate that they went big. No, no, no. I hate 
that they thought that they had to move to California to make their YouTube show. I mean, like, look, just they might have also wanted to though. Look at, I mean, no, but they have dis- they have discussed that they moved there because that's where they thought they had to go yeah. to do it big. I mean, they didn't go there to become YouTube stars. They went there to become like writers and, and actors and stuff. Mm-hmm. I guess I just said my own. I just yeah. resolved my own question. Yeah, <laughs> but precise. If their goal had been to do YouTube, they didn't have but to move. There. They also have a lot more. Like they're on now. They they're on tour. They have books. They now have, I think that's what they've always wanted though. It's a long term. They don't want to just have a podcast. They wanted to be actors. Show. Yeah, they want to be performers, <clears throat> which they, they are. finally accomplished. They are, yeah. Yeah, I, I actually want to read their book, but so do I, kind of. And I'm not. It's kind of kitty. Yeah, I know. It's 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 Rhett like and Leaf or Re- Rex and Leaf. Oh, I didn't. Know. I don't know names. anything about it except the title and the like synopsis. But so I actually do know a little bit about it. But um, <laughs> <laughs> um, boom, boom, boom. I was saying that. Yeah, I still love and respect them and watch their show, but I do think they're getting a little uh, muddled with some of their maybe creative choices. I don't know. I think that they've gotten too many people involved in the in the process of one episode. Like it used to just be kind of like them, a camera, maybe one person behind the camera, and then eventually maybe someone on sound, someone on the screens. You know, they have like nineteen crew. I know, or more, because <laughs> I think some alternate. You know. Um, I mean, it's, it's it's way too much. Yeah, and I think they're Which, yeah they definitely feel like it's a job now instead of mm-hmm. a fun activity. Mm-hmm. And you can see that. Like, did you, I watched the LTAT today? Mm-hmm. I didn't, but and it just looks like they just Link is just sitting there. It doesn't look like he's acting that he's bored. It looks like he literally no, I think does on not the LTATs, have fun. They they kind of don't put on that persona, you know, the acting persona because it's not a GMM episode. And you can really see and that they're tell, like, yeah. I mean, there was one that point that's where... That's their Saturday. That's their day off. You know, they're just like, okay, let's do this. But it takes them maybe th- 20 minutes. Yeah. And but, they probably make thousands of dollars in that one episode. Maybe, but who are we to say that they they might be, you know, producing it, script right? Like, they're not. I don't know. When you hire 19 people, you're not going to bother yourself with... <laughs> Anyways... There was a I'm moment. not hitting on any of their crew either, but yeah. There was a moment. Oh, I am. There's a few of them <laughs> I don't like. Yeah. There was a moment when Rhett keeps making it like some kind of joke. And Link goes, what kind of laugh is that? And he mimics the, mocks the laugh. Mm-hmm. But that laugh is literally the same in every episode. It's like, okay, is that fake there and also all these? And then another thing is Link goes, okay, come on. Let's do this so we can like finish up. Like he, He's like... I was like, yeah, come on. I'm ready to do, go. It's like... <sighs> I kind of see... I've seen that as well. And I, I've seen that they kind of fight uh, each other a little it bit. It feels like they're not <laughs> friendly anymore. I, I, but you know what? Having listened to their podcast, they said people on YouTube say that a lot. And they have no idea that's not really the real them, I guess. Because did you listen to that podcast episode? I know how my friendship with long-term friends have been like mm-hmm. and it's a lot of the kind of fighting thing there's like a long period of nothing then we hang out a few times and it's like really great and then we start bickering again <laughs> yeah I, I don't know it's just i'm not gonna stop watching them mm-hmm. because it's still i like a lot of entertaining episodes. yeah i hate shopping mm-hmm. okay you watch them while you shop no no, no. what oh. i'm saying is is i hate shopping why would I go look for a new channel to watch? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I just stumble upon stuff. And... I got you. I, I recently, two episodes I really liked were the International Taco Bell Taste Test, because mm-hmm. I love their dart ones. And then they had a Alternate Dimension episode, where they mm-hmm. created snacks in Alternate Dimension. This was part two. And I thought it was genius, like, the creativity and everything, especially in the package designs and stuff. Like, Did you watch the first one? No, I didn't, but... They do a wheat thin? Yeah. Oh, the wheat like thick! A- <laughs> yeah, I did watch that one. This one was just much better, I think. It was like... But that one was good, too. But they have Dunkaroos, except the kangaroos are uh, drowned in icing, and it's just a big box of icing, and you have to reach in, and it's, like, covered in icing, and they're, like, having a good time. I don't know. It was a good episode, but... What about animal crackers? They're made out of every different animal, like real. Yes, meat. you watched it. Yeah, yeah. I t- I keep up with it. Yeah. So is... when I say it's not the same as it used to be, mm-hmm. I I, I got some proof. Okay? I know. Yeah, and I know. Um, as, yeah, I agree. But 
That one was a good one. The animal crackers was like hilarious because Link was loving it, and Rhett was like, "I don't think we should like this." No, <laughs> Link will do that a lot. I know. He and here's some of the fun parts. Is like when Link is like, mm, "This is kind of good," and Rhett's like, "What the hell's wrong with you? This is disgusting." It'll be like eating like dirt or something like that. Yeah, and he's liking it. Yeah, like, it's kind of good. <laughs> We're so, kind of turn it into like a GMM fan club just now. I think we did. <laughs> there, there are still parts that paying, touch I base so with, let's not with talk me. too much about them. <laughs> uh, I told you about the first time I heard about them was it was back when the McDonald's rap was a big deal. Oh yeah, and they did a Taco Bell folk song. Oh. They ordered everything off the Taco Bell menu, but through a folk song. Damn. And I was like, that was kind of catchy, <laughs> and I started watching them. Oh. Shout out to our intro that hopefully was in the beginning of this episode. That is kind of catchy. What? The guitar intro that hopefully is going to be at the beginning of this episode. Oh, we got to record me playing it. Yeah. That I is catchy. I don't know how to put it through here. It is catchy. That is catchy. Oh. <laughs> you, could, you could just as easily record it on a phone or maybe even that. Do you think that would have a good enough mic to record it on? That, yeah. You could record it on, on something. It doesn't have to be that. And then he can just rip the audio from it. What does RIP stand for? <laughs> oh, I just use it like literally pool. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, rest in peace. No, for DVDs. Uh, no, I just like meant pool. I don't know mm. what it stands for. Okay, how's Kanye doing still? That's what I wanted to bring up today, or <laughs> maybe it was yesterday. I think yesterday he had a... Uh, prison him, performance? Yeah, him and Cameron are in Houston. He had a prison, a, a concert, a Sunday service in prison in a prison in Houston uh, for hundreds of convicts. Like, I don't know if they're, like, murderers. Like, you know, like, hundreds of convicts in Houston. (laughs) Yeah, and the photos were, like, incredible. They're, like, on their knees, hands, they're, like, pray, like, just in worship mode. And, like, there's there's this video that's amazing. It's it's from this kind of angle, and you see a red line on the floor, and the inmates are on one side of the red line, and Kanye is, like, threading the line, like, singing to them, but he... There's, like, guards all around him, so he's not supposed to cross the line. But he's, like, on the line, like, rapping just in their faces, basically. And it's just awesome. Uh, But I just wanted to, like, kind of talk about how that is incredible that he's one of the biggest artists in the world with the second... For the first week, it was the... It debuted at the number one album in the world on the Billboard Top 200 or whatever. And he's out in a prison in Houston performing. And his wife is, like, doing prison reform and all kind of stuff and like the media will still like just find things that, like somebody's somebody tried somebody bought a free ticket and sold it for 250 bucks and they're like blaming that on Kanye and it's like yeah why don't you report about what he's doing right now like I don't know it's just weird how biased it is <laughs> but that was all <laughs> I saw that video yeah um I didn't like the video why <laughs> I don't know I grew up old fashioned and anything not a him it's kind of blasphemous. Oh, really? <laughs> no, I just mean, I never got into that Christian rock. Christian Aren't you agnostic, rap. though? I still grew up in a church. Right, but it's not, <laughs> I don't know, it's not Christian rap. Like, I don't know how to describe it. It's called Jesus is King, and he's, like, yeah. a devout Christian now. But it's still, like, the sickest beats, and, like, <laughs> like it's Kanye production. Like, he, he, get, he gave us eight perfect studio albums and worked on countless other albums produced five albums in one summer and put them all out that year like it's still Kanye production like I don't know that's what I love about it here's what I don't like I also love that he did this despite people telling him it would flop and he debuted at number one to be clear it's not to spite but despite what he didn't do it in like the face of he did it. He did it despite just, them. Yeah, despite them Instead. saying he couldn't. And still, mm-hmm. yeah, okay. But no, he didn't do it despite anyone. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But maybe he did, and I kind of like that if he did, because fuck. That's them. not very Christian. It yes, it is. Despite. Yeah. Spitefulness is of the devil. But but despitefulness. But so is imperf- imperfection is to be Christian. What? <laughs> what do you mean? I was starting off with a joke, and now I'm getting very heated. Uh, (laughs) My bad. I meant to say that he didn't do it 
as a show, like, because that's not the right way to do it. If you're doing it out of your he heart, didn't do it as a show. That's what I'm saying. It wasn't to spite. Yeah, it was despite. No, I know. I was. <laughs> that went way off. I was just making a joke about. I was starting off with a joke. Who the I was hell are a joke you? That he may have done it to spite them, and that would be okay. But and you said it wasn't very Christ-like. I was like, yeah, he has a song about that. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> I'm done with you. Uh, Damn, I didn't the reason you're I didn't. Such a hater. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Please don't hate and donate. The reason I didn't like that. It's like. I don't know. Um, everything. I, this is kind of like a. I don't know how to like say it, but I don't want something like that to be televised. I don't want you it don't to be want him to broadcast it like he's doing it for his own glory. Yeah, I don't like it being shown because to me, when I watched that, every one of those prisoners raising their hands, worshiping. I saw a picture where this they were like one girl was on her knees like this, and the girl next to her was looking straight at the camera with like hand up I think or she was clapping I don't know it's like I feel like it's a lot of hype I think it's like oh Kanye's doing it yeah yeah kind of but it's also like imagine you're who am I to judge well just imagine you've been in prison for the past like two years that's a long time it's two years of your life or jail county jail for two years Mm -hmm. okay Mm -hmm. and then you don't. You're not. You're not getting that kind of interact like ever. You're not getting that kind of attention like ever. You're. You're basically getting your meals. You're get. You're. You're just in prison. You know. And then they Kanye do West performances for people. What? That's not like a. Only a Kanye's <laughs> done it. No, I know, but the reason they were there is for like Kim has his campaign and and Kanye's in on it as well to like, get people who are wrongly imprisoned or who are imprisoned for like charges that shouldn't lead to imprisonment. I'm not saying Kanye's not in it for the realness. No, I know. I believe he's real about it. I know, but I'm just saying they can... Are you saying they're fake for doing that? Or whatever? Like for Not Kanye. The inmates. I think, just like uh, televangelism, mm-hmm. I've always thought that was a big hokey hooey mess. Yeah, I agree. Like, people, you touch them and they're like, oh! Yeah. <laughs> That'd be funny for Phil Pat. <laughs> like, just as much as I don't believe it, and I think they're only doing it because there's a big audience watching... When somebody has a camera in front of you, you act different. I mean, this ain't who I am. I got a camera on me now. <laughs> this isn't who you are? <laughs> this kidding. is me, bro. <laughs> no, uh, I, I, I'm not saying that they weren't having real experiences. I think that'd be wrong of me to say. But being a skeptical person I, I am and having Kanye witnessed the things West, I've witnessed. If Kanye West was at my prison performing, I don't give a shit if there's a camera. You worship him without like, there being a camera. And I know that yeah. for a fact. I'm just saying all of the things that I want. Did wa- you say worship him? I don't think I worship him. Dude, you're pretty close. No, I don't think so. I greatly admire him and respect his uh, his art and everything about him. <laughs> Mostly. But continue with what you were saying. I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to talk about how my car is broke as shit? Broke? No, it, I was gonna make a different joke. Well, so am I. You had to say your your you have to say your car's poor as shit. Yeah. But then that wouldn't make sense. So that joke doesn't make sense. Mm. It was a Dave Chappelle joke. You wouldn't get it. You're out of touch. You're right. <laughs> You're probably right. Yeah. Well, I was interested to see if Kanye is still in the top charts. He is number two. He. Who was first? Post Malone, Hollywood's Bleeding. Right now, that's just today, but for the whole week, the first week that his album, like, it it goes on Friday or something like that, right? Yeah. That Friday, it debuted at number one and was riding the charts all that week. So as of yesterday, but it's as, been one week? I, yeah, I think. Yeah. It's only been a week? Wow. E- maybe. Maybe two weeks. But, um... But he's still, like, the top for a second, week? Second, yeah. Yeah. Or second for one week. Well, no, I mean, right now he's the second. Today. Oh, it just started over? Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> no, I see what you're saying. But, I mean, that's pretty crazy. But at the same time... Oh, and also there's Apple. That's just Billboard. There's Apple. I think he's number one. In in all of them, he's top five. But And also he has the number one, or had the number one music video on YouTube in the world. Two, like two million views in like something hours I don't know crazy I'm a sick mm, I like a quick no, mm. <laughs> not that one but yeah I love did that did you know video. he said that's what that's what uh, 
changed his mind when he did that music, that song. He realized because he started in two thousand whatever. He started with his first album. It was like it was pretty much a gospel like hip hop album. He had Jesus Walks, which is his breakthrough single. Like that got him to Kanye. It was like a Christian rap song. Really, a Christian rap song. It, it was. It was. It was. It was hip hop to its core, but it was a Christian rap song, and that's what kind of started him off. And so then he said, he started from Jesus Walks to I Love It, and he kind of was like, that's crazy. And I've listened to every inch of his discography, like countless hours. So I can just tell you right now, there's endless like. Uh, religious lyrics and ideologies in his lyrics already but there's also absurd profanity and just like insane production but do you think it's just him that came up with it or do you think he was no coerced coerced the the Christian thing no 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 no, no, the other way oh no I think he definitely like the culture definitely got like he, he he even on that album he cursed he started he never didn't curse or whatever or like Use profanity in his songs. Are we to believe that Kim Kardashian is now a devout Christian? Mm, yeah, why why wouldn't we be able to? I'm not saying that we can't. I'm saying, are we to do, to do I that? I think so, yeah. It, and I mean, Kanye for sure. I'm not 100% sure on Kim. But I know yeah. watching that interview with him, somebody asked him, like, what do you what do you like to do at night? He's like, I like to go to bed and read my Bible. Well, Kim is asleep or something like that. No. Yeah. You know what? That's a role model right there. I mean, I'm not saying you have to read the Bible. I'm just... Yeah. He's not good, like, oh, we go out to the club. We do all this crazy stuff. I'm like, you know what? You know what? I think You're I talking like all this hate, but you need to listen to the album because I'm not talking hate. Love it. I like Kanye. I know, but you're talking like... you're. I am not you call speaking... it a Christian rap album, which bothered me because it is you I... so much not. That. How is it not? It's that? just not. It's not. It's Kanye. It's a Kanye West album. <laughs> no, literally, dude. I was listen listening to, to him. <clears throat> he was like, "I need Jesus." When he says in that in that prison video, he's like, yeah, "says Jesus." But, I need Jesus. Yeah, like, I, I'm are you not telling even me that's sure. not a Christian. I'm not sure if that's from the album, dude. He does a lot of he samples a lot of songs. He does a lot of old shit, but that might have been from the album. He. Look, the Wait, lyrics the are countless heavy. hours that you've listened to and you don't even know if that was in no, there. No, what are you talking about, Rude? This just came out. Is I mean, he a his, mumble rapper? Do you not know what he's singing? No, he's. I'm playing around. He's the. He's not. He's not even a rapper, bro. He's an artist. He doesn't like being classified as a rapper because that's not all he is. He's an artist, dude. He's like, ah, God, he got me like fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Look, what I'm saying is, I don't. It's I'm, a Kanye. I'm album. not hating on it's Kanye. It's a hip hop album. The number one hip hop album. And in who the world. are you to say that saying a Christian gospel rap is hating on somebody? I'm just saying you're just dis- you're declassifying it. That you're di- you're putting it in the wrong class. That's not what it is. Whatever. And then you're demeaning it by saying that because you said it with a certain flow and a certain look. Okay, you said I never liked blah blah. Here's blah. how I will classify this. <laughs> okay. The words that were said. Reminded me of other previous songs that had similar words that were also classified as Christian rap, which I also did not prefer. Okay. However, I prefer Kanye. Yeah. I think he's lit. <laughs> I think he's pretty cool. Okay. I'm glad we're on the same page. I just, I do, again, sorry to keep. My hate was on the audience. Why? Like, anyway. My hate is on. I don't know. Kanye doesn't have any hate for you. I'm just saying. I, wa- I remember watching a video where he was in some big, um, it looked like an office, but giant. Mm-hmm. And this black guy across the way is like, man, who are you? Blah, blah, blah. And Kanye's like, man, all I got is love for you, man. TMZ interview. That says TMV melt. Sorry, TMZ meltdown of like 2016 or 2015. <laughs> that was when he was canceled for like the second or third time. Uh yeah, I know what you're talking about. He's always been about that. And I think I, ever since I watched that, I was like, you know what? This guy's kind of crazy, but I kind of like him. But he has a rap lyric that's name one genius that ain't crazy. And he, he gets that. He gets that people perceive him as crazy. He says it all the time. 
In this, Maybe it's because he had synesthesia and he said he was a god. Yeah, he, in this new album, he says, uh, "He says Jesus save me now. I'm sane. Listen to the words that I'm saying. Like his flow is incredible. The production <laughs> is incredible. I'm I mean, yeah, it kidding. sounds good. No, like, but imagine him saying it with a beat, with a fire ass <laughs> beat. He has he has a Kenny G saxophone <laughs> solo on this album. He he has a track produced by Pierre O'Born, who does like a lot of the tr- like hard like trap albums." Like Playboy Cardi, it, it's an insane album. You just have to listen to it and appreciate it from. A I'll listen to world. it if you listen to it with me. I will. <laughs> right now, after this, I will. If you want to go outside in the car, we could have like bass around us, dude. I will do. Whose that. car? Because yours is broke. Oh, but you don't have this around. But still, you have the speaker. Oh, yours, yours. <laughs> yes, we'll do that, and I'll break down each song. Maybe we can record it and make this a bonus episode. <laughs> but yeah, go on. I don't know. I, I mean, I had a lot of things that I wanted to mention. You know what? I'm going to have a weekly segment on this show where I talk about Kanye. Yeah, I would like to. I and would also, like I want to talk about like current things. Like That's why I wrote down the Disney Plus thing, because I think it's like a current topic. You had to write down Disney Plus. Dude, you don't know the day I've been having, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know the week I've been having, let's be honest. Yes, Tell I had me to about write your week, down. dude. Tell me about your week, I man. mean... It's just shit from the beginning to end. <laughs> uh, my car. It all started. Oh, I will. Okay. Thank you. I wanted to mention this. Thank you so much. I'm getting <laughs> me back on track. I won't name the business that is behind this, but the business that we've spoke about. Mechanic firm? It's a, No, it's a mechanic shop. Yeah. But they did, my, they did the work on my car. Mm-hmm. You said your dad didn't like them and you didn't like them did i say that i didn't like them or you'd heard bad i say a lot of things 80 percent of the things i like out <laughs> <laughs> um because i don't want them to kill me 80 percent of the things i say i don't remember and it's usually just for effect okay but get this okay you told me mm-hmm. when this is going on you told me that they had probably done something fucked up because of a couple different things that he had to keep it for three days that we paid him first he probably had had messed something up and he did, dude. That's when my electrical issues began. He did something with my ignition that made my car seem like it's always on. So that's what's straightening my battery and has corrupted my alternator. So I need a new one and might have messed with my BCM. Did you uh, plan on taking this guy to court or <laughs> telling him? Or? No, I will go by his shop and let him know and ask for like a refund on the work he did or a refund on the work that I'm having to do because of so it. So here's what you do. If his work caused these problems, which will cause you more money. Mm-hmm. You don't ask for your money back. You ask, ask for, for the him money to that pay I'm spending. For. Yeah, exactly. And you say, "Look, I've got I don't know who's a guy. Is that a, is that a lawyer? Sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's actually my boss's lawyer. Is it really? Yes. I'm Shout out. Know he comes in. You sure it's? I don't know his last name. I know Mister. He's an older guy, and he comes in and gets Boone. curry. Let's just say. Let's just say I've got blah 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 Boone. Also, maybe blink this out. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, just blank out every name. I've got blah blah, blah Boone. Mm-hmm. You don't have to. You don't have to have blank out blah blah blah. <laughs> you could you could go blank okay, okay, blah, okay. blah 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 blank. Uh, okay. Final time. Say, look, you messed up this bit. Okay, I took it to this other place. They're fixing it. It's gonna cost me this. Either you're going to refund me for the work you did because it was shit and it didn't work, and you're gonna pay for this. Or, Bubba Bob Boone is going to mm-hmm. be giving you a call later today. Boom. I agree. I should probably do that. Don't let your scaredness of confrontation yeah. keep you from getting fucked out of a deal. Yeah, I agree. It's just been a crazy week. Like, it started Don't not even crazy. a week ago. Don't get me crazy. You want to know how crazy of a week I've had? No. I've been bored at work constantly. <laughs> Damn, dude. I wish I could relate. I've been have a. I had a pretty boring week. That's good. Boring. I miss boring weeks, dude. If I can have a boring week where I just work all day and go home and sleep, that's a relief now. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I just need a boring week where my car works. You know? <laughs> but uh, some guys are looking at it. I don't know. Everything's ruined. <laughs> oh well, yeah. I, I was getting it looked at at a different place <clears throat> by a friend who told me all this stuff that he had messed up. Well, a friend of a friend. And um, I was leaving his shop, which is off of Highway 65, coming into town on the bypass. And uh, my car just 
immediately as soon as I crest the hill and get onto 65 my car breaks down in the middle of the intersection I'm like well where are my hazards <laughs> I never used them before but your I, batteries did no they worked I don't know what I, the battery shut off but my hazards worked um I think hazards are somehow designed to work I don't know but I I pressed we don't know anything about cars <laughs> I don't know I, I might have to google that though. I think hazards work because the battery was indeed dead it had just the alternator had been doing such a bad job at charging it that it just died. Like, they said the only way a car will break down, like, while it's running, actually break down like that, like, shut off, is if the alternator is bad, which it is. Uh, he touched it, and he said, he was like, holy shit, like, it burned the hell out of me. He's like, you're supposed to be able to lay your hand on alternator. Uh, so it was very bad. Um, hey, you remember that time I made you a, a comment, and I think I made a comment on this a few times yeah i'm not saying i was right no I, that's why i'm telling you this that you are right but i'm just gonna say why do you not listen to me dude i had to go through this experience this. i can't even tell you what i've learned about cars through this experience because shout out to ryan my friend ryan has been helping me every day like you know you never shout out me but whatever okay shout out to ben for i don't want you to fucking pander me right now uh, so I needed the learning process, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, and I also needed this process so I could just finally get rid of the car and just get a new one. No, I'm just playing. You know what this makes me think of? What? You might have just taught me something. What is it? Everyone has to learn from their own experience. Mm-hmm. Everyone. But what if I were to give my kids this experience like to where it wouldn't fuck them up? Mm-hmm. So, like, it won't cost them hundreds and hundreds yeah. of dollars. Maybe Give them the experience, but yeah. I'll be like, Not hey, I need you to go do something on something mm-hmm. and then hold out my money on them after yeah. they completed the job. And yeah. I'm like, oh, well, you need to do this before you do that. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think I'm a... You're helping me parent better Good in my mind. Good parenting technique, dude. Do you have an announcement to make or something? Maybe in a few years. I don't know if you guys can hear that. <laughs> Who couldn't? Yeah. The dead. Yeah. No, even the dead can hear that. It's okay. We'll take a break because my mom texted me. She just landed. Yeah, I need a beer. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay.